All right, fantastic. So our next talk, Behave Yourself or Not, Gender and Status Untied, and um, Simo Rutarin and Barbara Tint. about status, the one that we tend to focus on the most is gender expression. 
So status is very much about interactional phenomenon around how you show up in relationship with other people related to dominance and so on. And in the opening of the talk, we tried to show you also that, that status not necessarily is connected with gender complexity, uh, but both women and men, or whoever <coughs> in, in that uh, complexity can use high osmosis, can make that choice. And there are also cultural and social conditions and expectations that might make it even easier or less easy. Mm -hmm. So we want to take you through a few short exercises. Um, really like 30, 45 seconds each, just as a way to develop some insight and awareness. That's our goal, is to sort of increase insight and awareness, which hopefully you can carry out into the world. Could you form three people groups? And don't move, just turn, turn to people, three, it can be four, it can be five, you can you want to, you can to the rest Don't worry about moving uh, too much. Don't worry about perfect okay. numbers. And with your three people group, if it's two people, it's, if it's a diet, that's okay too. So please try different ways of taking up space, staying in contact. They can be verbal or physical ways of everybody in your group is trying to take up as much space as you can. Please. And go. Shut up, kids. Sit down. Okay. So, so regardless, you're a raucous crowd. Oh, my God. Regardless of your gender, we invite you to take a moment to reflect on what that felt like. Did that feel natural? Did that feel like a stretch? Did that feel uncomfortable? Did that feel more comfortable? Just... A moment do you, do of you ever have to fight for space? Fight for your space? Have you ever experienced that? What if... What if we did the same with the same group, with the same people? So let's try to take... Like, give space. Instead of taking, we are trying to give space. How does it... What are the means, physical or verbal means, to do that? Please. Same group, same group, same people. Just try giving space now. Okay, thank you folks. Thank you so much. That was easier on the ears. So again, take a moment to reflect on what that felt like. Was it more comfortable, less comfortable? More familiar, less familiar? Oh, they're discussing. They're discussing. They're listening. They're debriefing. Oh my God. Okay, folks, since this is 15 minutes. Debrief later. <laughs> yeah. So what about sharing space, taking turns? How would it look like if you would take turns and Use space, give space. Share space. Okay. Have a small experimentation. 
We'd love to have you for two days to do this, just saying. So take a moment and feel what that felt like. Oh, I heard a sigh. I, oh, somebody sighed. Oh, oh sharing space is heavenly. Oh, I felt that. Okay, now so the last thing choice. is that secretly, in your mind, with the same group, choose one. I'm going to take up space. Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the giver. Or, or I'm gonna share. Or I'm gonna share. So same so groups. Pick one. Just pick one. Don't tell what you're picking. Just do it. And have a and go. Go. Okay, and stop. stop. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. We only have three minutes. So we're not going to debrief this because we want you just to reflect on it, but reflect on what happened. Reflect on what you noticed. Reflect on how these experiences relate to gender and the conditioning we've had about what's okay, what's not okay, what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, what's comfortable, what's not comfortable, with whom is it appropriate or comfortable? So, the concept of gender is kind of being more and more complicated, hopefully towards the end that it kind of loses its meaning. And, and status, with status is it's the same thing. It's like if we're being playful and fluid and flexible with status, it kind of loses its bad meanings at least. Because if we are like, you know, taking, you know, being playful with the, these things. an invitation for you for the next few days. We're going to give you a virus, a nice virus. A uh, conference virus. A conference virus. So that if at any point in any interaction you want to play with status, you want to play with what's happening in the interaction, we're going to give you a sign. Sima, would you like to show them the sign? It's a seesaw. Which so means let's play. We are not giving you this as a tool to call each other out, <laughs> but it's an opportunity to develop some insights or awareness around what's happening in any interaction around these kinds of behaviors. Awareness, intention. And choice. 